All right, man. I got this. Is fashion an interesting topic? Well, I guess it's unique because I haven't really seen any videos on it on YouTube. Um, well, yeah, just YouTube. But yeah, I haven't really seen any specific topics talking about fashion on popular channels. Like you, you look up fashion and uh, styles and stuff like that on YouTube and you'll find mostly those catwalk videos. And I guess it could be just because um, it's a dumb topic, it's not interesting, or maybe people just never thought about it. Anyway, it's something I thought about recently because, well, when I was younger, I couldn't care less about how I dressed. I would dress whatever I found comfortable, and I don't really care what people thought I was wearing and what I looked like, really. Unless, of course, I was dressing in drag, which that happened only once. There's only one record of that, and that was because it was for a Halloween party. So you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't judge me for it, media. You can't judge me for it, internet. But nowadays, I actually have a tendency to actually try and wear stuff that makes me look hip and hop and cool. Because, ooh, that girl that I've been seeing a lot in my friend group. She might like me more if I started dressing more fancy and fresh. Or maybe I thought my friends would think I'm cooler than I actually am if I started wearing really trendy, cool, unique clothing. Or maybe even just the thought of wanting to flaunt your style in front of the public. And when these things actually went through my head and I was like, damn, I actually thought, thought about these things. I'm a fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get down to business. Uh, that is fashion, I mean, if there is any sort of business within uh, the category of fashion. There is uh, multiple trends, styles, and themes within fashion. And, well, I guess you can lump mine, my fashion, with um, the category of artsy, which is one of the uh, many uh, styles I've found um, through my research of studying fashion. Well, what is artsy fin, my audience may ask? Well, it's basically just one of the many styles I came across through me studying uh, this topic on this site. And well, they explain artsy as some sort of style where it's based on the creativity of the person. And us artsy <coughs> people, like to express ourselves through uh, what we wear, basically. The 1970s uh, was when unisex clothing became the norm, actually, and uh, women actually started uh, commonly wearing the um, many varieties of uh, skirt lengths. I, I believe maybe skirt lengths were a specific length and uh, were very strict uh, before the 1970s maybe, but apparently it was stated as a key factor for the 1970s with unisex clothing being a popular thing. The 1980s was supposedly the uh, age of creativity with its creative patterns, funky colours and unique styles. The 1990s was when actually fashion took quite a twist and um, it was more aiming at anti-fashion than anything as um, people started wearing simpler clothes, uh, simpler and plainer and just more comfortable clothing. Basically, comfort over pizzazz, you could say. One last decade I will go over is actually um, the 2000s. I'm not going to touch on the 2010s because that's too recent, I think, and there's really no point on touching on that at the moment. Maybe 10 years later, I'll make another fashion video. Yeah, that's definitely going to be on my bucket list. I'll make another fashion video um, in 10 years time and it will only be revolving around the 2010s. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the uh, 2000s was when people started mashing multiple trends into one, into a fusion of styles from the 60s to the 70s and to the 80s and so on. The vintage style, uh, basically a blast of the past. Um, it's a 
group of uh, fashion from the 20s to the 70s and I guess you could say it's very common now, at least I think it is, uh, with all these kids trying to be hip, um, staying, staying trendy, as you could say, because I do that a lot. I stay trendy. <laughs> uh, by the way, a friend of mine will really like this one. He'll really like it. So this is called the Bohemian style. It's basically uh, people dressing up uh, in these with these funky patterns on exotic uh, fabric. Um, to make it more easier to understand, I think I could say it's the stereotypes of clothing that a uh, gypsy or a hippie would wear. So I highly recommend uh, to my friend to uh, try the Bohemian style, he might like it because it's similar. It's similar title to a song he likes of an artist yeah Thir thirdly the casual style I guess you could say this one's very similar to the 1990s uh, because it's um, the idea of wearing something comfortable uh, and simple and plain um, over something exotic, tight, and just uncomfortable. Okay, finally, the preppy style. This is basically what the stereotypical cool kid uh, in high school slash college would wear with um, collared shirts and A-line skirts, whatever those are, knitted sweaters, um, girly blouses, all that kind of stuff. Um, by the way, you know Gossip Girl? And who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Gossip Girl. Um, that girl named Blair, I think it was. She weared, um, she was in that, she wore a lot of clothes that was like preppy style, I think as well. I believe at least, in that show. The funny thing is about all of this is, um, fashion is, I think, uh, opinionated and subjective, uh, if anything. That's my personal thought. I think a lot of people think that as well, and it's probably true. And the question from the very start is, well, is fashion interesting? And I guess it is if I can make a video on it. But that all depends on if you guys found this video interesting. And if you did, awesome. Go ahead and subscribe. Satisfied. I'm satisfied with that recording. I think it was alright. It wasn't terrible. It was like a full... It was a full hour of recording, guys. Oh my god, that's gonna be so fun. Going through all that footage. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many bloopers that aren't gonna be in the video. Oh my god. Thank you for watching.